Okay, let's take a look at how crafting works in New World so that you can understand what you're going to see. I go into here. This is a smelting station. It's for taking raw ore. If I have any in my. It's for taking this raw ore and converting it into ingots. Okay. So. This is listed in the order in which you would need the materials. Now, uh, in some cases, you have to skip things, but I'll, sh I'll guide you through here. So charcoal is only needed when you're making things other than iron. If you have just iron ore, you can convert that iron ore directly into iron ingots. You need iron ingots in the manufacture of steel. Iron ingots plus charcoal plus flux makes steel. You need steel to make star metal. And you need star metal to make orichalcum. So you can see here at the beginning of this food chain is iron. Without iron, you can't make steel. Without steel, you can't make star metal. And without st star metal, you cannot make orichalcum, which is the top metal in the game. Bottom metal, top metal. That's how it goes. These other metals are for jewelry. Okay, that's metals. Let's take a look at cloth. This is a loom. This is cloth. I'm going to bring it up. The base cloth, of course, is linen. To get linen, you need fibers. And these fibers, as the pop-up shows you, is derived from hemp plants. We'll see those in a bit. So you use hemp plants to create linen. You need linen to create sateen along with other stuff, of course. And then you need uh, sateen to create silk. Sateen to create silk. Uh, oh, sorry, sateen and silk thread to create silk. And then, I haven't unlocked it yet, but the highest level, uh, or the second highest level, is infused silk, for which you need silk. So you need, you need this to create this, you need this to create this, you need this to create this. Linen is required. It's at the base of the food chain and you need it for everything else. And linen comes from hemp. So your two primary resources are iron and hemp. Okay, so we're gonna head on out to a hemp farming spot. I'm probably going to cut a lot of this trip out so that you don't have to, or I'll speed along through it. So just so you know, okay, way in the distance there, you can see it. Green plant with, or with orange or red tops. You can see it at a distance. You know it's there from way far out and if you look at the top top of my screen where the s is you can see little plant symbols appearing or weed symbols so you don't actually have to go there to see that there is a plant or is not a plant there to pick it now watch i cut it this is a big node but there's multiple locations to it this is important so i i get this location i can't get the next location until i move And I can't get the next location until I move. So I'm going to call these sub nodes of the larger plant node. Okay, so for further discussion, for future discussion, sub node refers to the little nodes 
that are part of a patch. Okay. So again, I'm gonna speed up through this and save you all the weight. Now, let's see what, that's a bot. You can tell because the bot is trying to mine locations that have already been mined. Okay, so the key to spotting these bots, well, I mean, for us as users, I mean, if you're in the game, uh, uh, the game authors, the game writers or managers or admins, it's far easier to spot these bots, much, much easier. But, uh, and I know that because I'm a 41-year-old, 40-year-old software developer. But um, from outside the game, the only real, here, here's one. The only way we can really tell, is watch this guy, see? He runs to a spot, he stops, he runs to a spot, he stops, he runs to a spot, he stops. He just ran to this location and didn't mine it. Now, I've seen him before. I've reported him dozens of times. But that's how you tell. Like, this is a central... Now, you can't stand on the location because what will happen is there is there used to be bots that would stand in one location and just uh, mine the or, or harvest the instant the resource became available. They would just stand there and harvest it. Uh, <clears throat> the game manufacturers, I guess Amazon, decided to, uh, to address that issue by not letting anything that was standing still near the spawn see the new spawn. So at one point I was camping a location trying to get a particular uh, node, I think it was a, a spire spark or something. And I didn't see it reappear, but other players did. I think he might have been testing to see if I was a bot. Okay, so what I'm doing now, as I say, is clearing out the hemp so that when the bots come to farm it, they end up farming empty lots. And here comes another bot. Look at him. I'll bet you that's a bot. They're us it's usually a bot. Okay, that's the one we saw earlier. He's going to come right here to farm this location. You're going to see him stop and go, stop and go. Over he comes. Now remember, you don't actually have to come here to see that there's nothing here. He's going to go to where the red thing is now. And he's going to try to farm over that way. Farm that. And all we have to do is sit here. Oh, there's some more that spawned way in the distance. I can see it. 
I don't need to go all the way to that location to know whether or not hemp is there. It doesn't get a lot more obvious than this. So I'm going to come over here, harvest it, and then when the bot comes to harvest it, he ends up acting like it's harvesting and there's nothing there. Now there was a bot here earlier that was chopping down trees. Oh, well, who lots this? And that's the bot that was here earlier chopping down trees. Let's watch him. He's fun. So he's going to chop that tree down. Now, you'll notice the funny colors. A very bright green. That's because this guy is in my guild, my company. My company doesn't bother interviewing anybody or asking them any questions. They just invite anyone. And uh, it looks like either this person was randomly invited or it's, it belongs to one of the officers. Okay. And we got our guy here. Look at that. He's stopping. 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 He's trying to mine. He's trying to harvest the hemp that was there. And it's not there anymore. And here's our guy. Look at this. I'll chop that tree down. Then he'll move on to the next. Now, I first encountered him when he was uh, harvesting um, hemp. Doing the same thing. Stopping and starting at empty nodes. Now, I'm going to chop this tree down on him. And you, try, you saw him trying to move there. Now it's like he's broken. Off he goes, going to that stump, going to this stump, and you'll notice him now stopping at all the stumps to try to see if he should chop it down. Completely oblivious to the fact that he's being watched. And these bots are everywhere. So, okay, we're going to leave this area, and I'm going to zoom on over to the mining area and show you a bot that's there. Okay. So, we're in another area now, and I caught a glimpse of the uh, botter taking his load back to town. This is the, an area that one likes to hang out at. Now the wolf's not attacking because I'm level 47, so I'm so far above him. Here he comes. Let's follow him. He should come here and stop. 
and walk around a bit. So he'll kill the dog. Going to the location. Now this one likes to circle around. Going to the... There we go. He's just gone through this location. Gone through that location. So you can see he's running intentionally through locations where nodes are supposed to be but are gone. He'll come over here now where there's nothing. You can see there's nothing. There's no reason to go there. Then he'll come back. He always gets stuck there, so I can get ahead of him up here and start mining the next node that he's after, which is these. As you can see, he became confused with that. Now he's confused again, trying to mine the node that isn't there, or that I've taken. Now he's gonna try to mine this one. As you can see, confused like anything now. Now, I'm mining this one. He's going to try to mine it. And he can't, of course. And he'll try to mine this one. Which he can't. And I have reported that bot numerous times. Now he's going to go to the piece in the center where he can mine it. There's a rock there that's probably spawned. Yep. So he's going to start on that one, and I'll see if I can catch the next one on him. Skin it. Oh, he's not going to skin it. Okay, so that's that bot. So, for the record, today is November the 9th. It's currently 11 uh, a.m. Uh, Eastern time. Okay, so as I was returning to town, I encountered this person. You can see the name there. It looks like somebody just danced their fingers over the keyboard quickly. It's low level. These are characteristics common to bots. Uh, and you'd be shocked how many players there are with crazy names like this that turn out to be bots. So I'm just following him to see what he does. Uh, does he act like a bot or does he act like a player? I'm looking for zig pointless zigzagging or motion to a location and then stopping as though to momentarily check it for mining or harvesting and then moving on. I'm hoping that if he is a bot, he'll go to a, a mining location with multiple nodes. Interesting that he passed that. Uh, multiple nodes, and I will take one of those nodes out on him and see how he reacts. So let's see what happens. Now, see, he just zigzagged. That's interesting. In amongst a whole bunch of trees that are gone. Okay. Maybe he's just trying to get an, uh, 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 rid of an annoying player who's following him. Who knows? But the fact is, just like you can't see anybody behind me, he can't see me behind him. So he doesn't actually know I'm back here. Okay. 
And it's interesting though, they could filter out a lot of bots just by looking for names like this. It's literally that simple. Uh, they could they could find a lot of them and confirm them. Uh, they could also confirm things like whether they're playing 24 hours a day. Okay, so this is just a single sub node. He's zigzagging again, like he's looking for something. Again, zigzagging like he's looking for something. I don't know what's going on there. Ah, we have no oh we have two nodes. Look, so I'll go get this node. He's got that one. And we'll see what he does when his node runs out. He runs over. He stops to mine it, and then he runs away. So that is typical bot behavior. Now, now I started recording this around 11 o'clock in the morning, but I had already been on around 6, 7 o'clock in the morning and had been trying to mine in the location where I am right now. And uh, it was impossible. There were three bots mining the area and two players trying to get whatever they could in between the bots. So after two hours of mining, I had 1,700 units of material when I will usually mine 3,600 units of material inside of a half an hour. So uh, when I went back to this location, you see me going through right now to try to find the bots, they weren't there and I did very well <laughs> as usual. Uh, there were a couple players, but it, it wasn't anything like it normally is. So I got lucky. And the, uh, the uh, hemp area that I showed you earlier in the video, it was light this afternoon. I have been in that area in evenings when I have just harvested some hemp and literally three bots cro come over trying to harvest the same location while I'm standing there with everything harvested already. So it is literally that bad. I mean, there are times when there's more bots in a particular area harvesting the resources than there are actual players. And I, I can tell you that uh, people I know have, uh, have uh, reported the bots numerous times. Uh, you'll be going through this particular mining area and somebody will come up to you and say, do you see that bot? Report him. You know, because everybody's trying to get rid of these bots. They're they're destroying it. You cannot level your character. You cannot level your skills. You cannot do anything unless you can get iron and hemp. And these bots are taking it all. So, and, and the real surprising thing <clears throat> is that this whole thing is running on Lumberyard, which is uh, Amazon's variant of the uh, uh, of the uh, crisis gaming engine the cry cryo I think it's cryo gaming engine uh, anyway <clears throat> cry engine that's right uh, this is their version of it and it's supposed to run on uh, Amazon or Amazon um, cloud services which is supposed to have wonderful AI capabilities and everything and uh, the number of what problems they have had from day one is just mind boggling. We're in a time when bots have been an issue for World of Warcraft for 20 years and they've dealt with it. We're at a time when other games have had bots to deal with. Uh, it's a well-known issue and Amazon starts up the game as though they don't know anything about it. Uh, and um, now the game is, you know, there are times when you can't play. So I, right now I'm trying to grind out my uh, engineering skill. To do that, I need to make metal spear or uh, iron spears. And for that, I need iron and I need wood. And unfortunately, the bots are out mining me sometimes on the iron. I can't get any uh, to do any of that stuff with. So my gameplay time is reduced. So anyway, if you're thinking of buying the game uh, and getting involved with it, you might want to keep in mind the challenges you're going to go through. Maybe it's something you want to wait on until Amazon sorts their 
their stuff out uh, or you know maybe you don't mind going through that trouble who knows maybe you'd like to bot yourself because it seems everybody's doing it <laughs> there's more bots than re than normal players anyway i hope this video has been informative and uh, i look forward to seeing you on my channel again soon